Hello and welcome inside the Cox Center, Carter Baum alongside Jim Byers and Jim, we are here. We've seen 76 regular season games this season for Oklahoma City. The Calder Cup playoffs start tomorrow and the Barons have drawn a division opponent in the San Antonio Rampage, a team who really turned it on of late in the season. Oklahoma City started the season as one of the hottest teams in the AHL. San Antonio finished the season as one of the hottest teams in the AHL. But when these two teams have gone head to head this season, it seems to have mostly gone the Rampage way. Yeah, uh, the Rampage only lost once to the Barons in regulation. That was a shutout to win for Oklahoma City here on February 28th. Barons did win two overtime games down there. It was a strange season series. The Barons had three wins, five losses, and both two overtime and shootout defeats against San Antonio this year. So the Barons picked up some standing points, but not a whole lot of wins. And the dynamic is going to need to change here, I think, for the Barons to have their best chance. But the playoffs are a new season. The Barons are a much stronger roster than they were down the stretch. And San Antonio did go 0-2-2 in their last four games. The Barons did win three of their last four. So no doubt what you said is true that the Rampage finished the season in tremendous fashion. They yeah. flirted with the number one overall seed in the West, but the Barons did at least the very end of the season finish pretty well themselves. Well, and part of that finish at the end of the year was some of the veteran players that they got back from the Edmonton Oilers. Three on defense, they got their second goalie back. Both Bachman and Brassois saw time with Edmonton this season. When you look up at the makeup of these two rosters, Oklahoma City by and large is a young and prospect filled team San Antonio on the other side they have a lot of big guys and a lot of veterans on their roster especially on defense you've got three guys that are true veterans in Shane O'Brien Greg Zanin Blake Parlett has a lot of AHL experience they got Alex Petrovic back who was uh, one of the two remaining Rampage players who were with them in 2012 when the Barons beat them in a second round series he was a raw rookie then now he's got a lot more experience they do have a veteran D. The Barons D is younger, but some of their younger players like Simpson and Osterley and even second-year man David Musiel have gotten a full year of experience versus when these teams played each other a lot early in the season, so that could help Oklahoma City. A best-of-five series starting tomorrow night. Two games here in Oklahoma City, potentially three games in San Antonio. Jim, what are your keys going into this series? Well, I think the Barons have to get shots on net. There were only five games all year between the two clubs out of the 12 where the Barons had 30 or more shots. Not coincidentally, the Barons won three of those five. They did not have a win when they had less than 30 shots. Also, Oklahoma City has to get off to good starts. The Barons allowed a goal by the Rampage inside the first two minutes in four of the 12 games. Oklahoma City did score a couple of early goals themselves, but better starts, better five-on-five -five play, because I think the special teams, both uh, against other teams in the AHL and one another, were kind of a wash this year, but better five-on-five -five play, better starts. And right. of course, goaltending is obviously huge. I'm sorry right. no, to cut you off. My newfound height has got me, uh, got me excited here. Well, it's sure to be a back and forth series. It's been an interesting series all season long, and it all starts tomorrow night. For Jim Byers, I'm Carter Baum, Barons TV.